Good evening. This is Apostle Rasa Solomon, and this is Rasa Solomon's YouTube channel. If you want to see my other links, please look under all my other previ previous videos or go to my About page, my landing page, and you'll see where you can buy books, hear music. So uh, uh, go to my coaching and dream interpretation and prophecy channel, prophetic life advice show, blogs, and so forth. And God bless everybody who's taking the time to listen. <laughs> In Yeshua's name. All right. So my brother Julian, my 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 well, he's my king brother. <laughs> um, he can attest to this. I told him this like a week ago, and I told Pat this about a month ago. But I, the Lord told me this about six weeks ago, in my sleep that there was going to be a bull run coming, a short one. It would last three to six weeks. Uh, but I don't know exactly when it's coming, but I know it's coming, and it's coming this year. And uh, he said it would be a good short bull run. And he showed me Bitcoin going to $60,000, but it wasn't going to, like, stay there. But I remember telling y'all, as he told me, that when we see it hit $30,000, that's the sign that it's going to hit between fifty and sixty thousand dollars and and then after that it was gonna drop but not crash you know and he already told me Bitcoin wasn't going to zero just like last year he kept telling me Bitcoin was not going to zero I kept telling everybody nobody wanted to believe me they want to believe all the other prophets saying it was going to zero and boom it didn't go to zero here we go again this year you got prophets saying it's going to zero again God told me it's not going to zero it's not to say that it won't go low but it's not going to zero. That's what he told me, and I'm standing by it just like I did last year. But there's going to be a short bull run, three to six weeks. It's going to be a good bull run. And the and the Lord said that, um, and I had gave a, a short prophecy word on my uh, on on the Prophetic Life Advice show, so you might want to go listen to that. Um, the Lord has said um, he was going to start giving answering promises, but he he was going to answer them little by little because he wants to see how people are going to handle it and if they're going to keep their word. And if you do good, then you'll have bigger promises. If you don't, he will delay your promises. So it may have something to do with the bull run. You know, when it comes from three to six weeks, he's going to see if people are going to keep their promises and, you know, do what they got to do. I'm not saying millionaires is going to be made, you know. I'm just saying, you know, Bitcoin is going to go between 50 you know, I, I saw 30, then I saw 40, 50, and then reaching 60. But after, it, it ain't going to stay. Like, let's say it reached 40, 50, 60. It's not going to stay there for a long time. It's going to be a short time. It's going to come back down. But um, I didn't see it going to zero, and the Lord told me it wouldn't. So um, he just told me that I could release it. I've known it for six weeks. Uh, you know, so when it happens, guys, take profits because after the three to six weeks, Mark is going back down again. You know, then I guess you could buy back in, <laughs> you know, the low, low cost, even the stock market going to go up a, a somewhat as well. You know what I mean? So this is all that I came to tell you. So church is back this week. So you guys will see it. Um, I also got the six hundred dollar a bank uh, cashier check for the um, donation. Um, I was going to show it to y'all, but it has like, you know, my ministry info on it and stuff. So that's why I decided not to do that. But I'm a, I'm going to have Pat take a picture of me and the lady at the food place when I take it next week because they won't be open again until next weekend. Right. Um, they closed this weekend. So and uh, I'm going to have Pat take a picture. So. Y'all can see. And I appreciate everybody who um, gave. And you guys gave enough where I could give $600 to them and um, help the ministry as well. So I really appreciate you guys for helping out. And um, I've been told a few, few people have given me testimonies already that they've got blessings, even Sister Pat you know, from helping out. <laughs> and it encouraged Sister Pat to go and buy some food to give to. All right. So I will see y'all this weekend with church. What, what we're going to do is I'm trying to make church a, a little less because uh, I'll be on here three and a half hours. <laughs> so I'm going to do church, teach first for an hour. And then the second hour, I promise the people 
I would come back and do prophecies for them because I did it the other day, but I couldn't get to everybody because I had to go. So we're going to do that the last hour. All right. So, you know, looking forward to starting church again. I appreciate you guys waiting on me and being patient and praying for me and so forth, you know, waiting anxiously for me to do the church because everybody keeps saying it. You know what I mean? And I was like, wow, they like they really like the church. So we bless God for that, right? <laughs> so, you know, thank God. You know, and uh, what I want you to do is test this word about the bull run. Go to God, you know, and pray and say, is Apostle Rosalind correct? Did you tell her that? <laughs> you know, and remember last year I saw bull runs. I told y'all I saw bull runs. I saw b- bulls running, you know, and, and I saw rockets for Lunic. And uh, Luna Classic, you know, and, you know, but I haven't had any dreams about Sheeb lately, but I was talking to God about Sheeb the other day, right? And I was like, God, how can this coin have only four zeros left and still have 549 trillion coins? And they done did all this burning mechanism and everything. And he said, that's because too many people have it. They're trying to shake people out before they let it go. There's a million and something sheep holders. They don't want them a million and something millionaires. So the Lord said they're still trying to shake people out. So the enemy kind of still has his foot on sheep, right? But the Lord said that that they're going to have to let it go eventually. But they're just trying to shake people out of sheep. And it's working because even my brother in the Lord, he was like, you know what? Should I sell my sheep and then just buy it? I'm like, no, you better keep that sheep because the moment y'all give up, boom, it's going to come. Boom, it's going to come. Boom. <laughs> and I told y'all that the dot, I don't like Dogecoin, but I told y'all Dogecoin was going to start rising up. And then I heard Elon Musk did something. And now, and now it's almost nonsense. So Doge is going to have a run too. But how big of a run, I don't know. But I I don't like it. Every time somebody gives it to me, I go and buy X, XRP or something with it. <laughs> you know, um, you know, and when it has this bull run, God bless all of y'all. I probably won't be in that bull run for, for Doge because I don't know. I just don't like that coin for some reason. But God bless you all who will be in it. And just don't forget a sister. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> and the prophecy about XRP came to pass. I told y'all it was going to go up and it did like 20 cent up. And after May, it's going to go up even more. And I told y'all like two years ago that XRP was going to be tied up in this court thing. But they and it was going to seem like they did. not wasn't going to win, but they're going to win. All right. So take these words to the Lord and conf- confirm them with God. Test the word. All right, so you guys have a pleasant evening and talk to you this weekend when we're in church, Sabbath church. Shalom.